Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on conditional split transformation in SSIS. How this transformation is useful to the developers in at the time of the package. Conditional split transformation in SSIS is similar like case statement or if condition. Developers are used this conditional split transformation as per the business logic or requirement. The output that is derived once after it checked the condition on given source. We can get multiple outputs by using this, this transformation from single input source as per the condition. It is not like multi cached transformation where we can get multiple same outputs from the single input source. So without wasting the time, let us jump into the demo. So, I am taking the new package altogether. I am dragging the data flow task into control pane. I am using here my uh, input source as OLEDP source. So, in the, in the database, I have one table called city info. It contains around 13, 13 rows ID, name, and city. So, here different cities are there. Now, I am using the conditional split on, on city column. As per the city column, the, the data will be split into the different parts. That means 13 records will be split into the, the different parts as per the condition that, that I mentioned in the SSS package. So, let's configure the source. My database is a sample. My server name is admin. So I am selecting the table as city info table columns. Okay, configuration is done successfully. Now I am selecting the conditional split transformation. Here we define the condition here. So my city is the one of the column I am using this. If city is, let's go to the Chennai, Pune, Mumbai, Texas, Tokyo, Bangalore. So out of this two are from uh, out of the India. Texas and Tokyo is the uh, is not Indian cities, the uh, rest of the cities are the Indian cities. So, I am giving the condition here is if the city is like Tokyo, then my output name is Japan. And second condition. If city is like Texas, output name is US. So, uh, out of these two cities, rest of the cities are, are from India. So, here in the down, you see default output name. So, I am using this default input name as India. So, total out of 13 records, 7 records are Indi Indi Indian cities and uh, 4 records are Texas, US and 
टू रिकॉर्ड सर टोक्यो जापान ओके सो टू सी दम आउटपुट ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई एम यूजिंग द मल्टीकास्ट आई एम यूजिंग द थ्री मल्टीकास्ट साइमल्टेनियसली फॉर गेटिंग द आउटपुट This is my first output. I'm using India, okay. And it's my second one, Japan, okay. And this is my third one. By default, it will take yes. So this is my the package and the package design. So everything is right. So after running the package, the certain records were loaded uh, from OLEDB source to conditional script transformation, and from as per the condition given condition, the records were segregated to three outputs as per the city. Now I am running the package. So to view the package and all these things, I am enabling the data viewer here. See here we have the ten records. So for Tokyo, it's just two records. For India, it's um, seven records. First display seven. And for US, it's showing four records. So total thirteen records. So this is how we use the conditional splits. And one more thing: make sure that conditional split output is different from multicast output. In multicast output, we can get multiple outputs from singular and same out same input. Here in conditional split, we can get different multiple outputs, but different uh, but. Uh, All outputs are different from one to other. So that is the main difference between conditional split and multicast. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.